everyone, it's Shannon here and welcome to Honeybee Stamps Happy Hearts YouTube Hop. In today's video, we're going to create this sweet card. We're going to add a ton of depth to these strawberries with some simple ink blending. We're going to start with the Lovely Layers Strawberry Die Set. There's a bunch of dies in this set for all the layers to create all these strawberries and leaves. I'm going to start with the main set of leaves and the main uh, grouping of strawberries. And I also die cut all the flowers and tops and strawberries out that go along with those, that cluster, out of just some plain white cardstock. We're going to start by ink blending the leaves and stems here and the tops of the strawberries. First in Twisted Citron Distress Oxide, basically going to ink blend all of the greenery uh, pieces with that green. Then I'll move on to Mowed Lawn, my medium, and I'm going to start to ink blend a gradation over the leaves and stems and even get a little bit of that Mowed Lawn on the uh, strawberry tops as well. We, want, we don't want them to just one color, we want a nice gradation over them. Now moving on to our final green, this is pine needles. I'm going to just kind of darken up the stems and the very base of the leaves. And then I grabbed a little shader brush. This is just a small ink blending brush to just ink blend a little bit better the tops of the strawberries. And I do want to point out that I did leave the die cuts in the negative and that is because there's some very thin areas on those die cuts, the stems and even like a, a vine on those two die cuts. And and that just helps to keep it from being uh, moving around when I'm ink blending or getting bent or something when I'm ink blending. So keeping in the negative is really helpful. We're now going to move on to the strawberries. I'm going to start with my light here, which is worn lipstick, and just quickly ink blend the whole strawberry with that beautiful pink. Then we'll move on to candied apple and ink blend a little gradation, kind of coming from the side of the strawberry. And once I finish with candied apple, we'll do a tiny bit of aged mahogany. I think this is the color that just kind of steps it up and really makes it look like a really uh, ripe strawberry. Now we're going to move on to the flower centers. I have three of them here. I'm just going to ink blend them really quickly with distressed uh, oxide uh, mustard seed. This is a little tricky because they are so small. You could, of course, just die cut these though out of yellow cardstock if you want to avoid ink blending those tiny little die cuts. Now we're ready to put this cluster together. I'm going to start by adhering um, my flower centers to my flowers. Now I actually have a extra flower here that I will use in the finished card, but there's only two flowers in this cluster. Now moving on and just adhering the uh, strawberry tops to the strawberries. And once we get those stuck down, we're ready to kind of put all of these, these strawberries and flowers onto the cluster are the base of the cluster starting by starting with those flowers and you can see I have one extra one left over which I will use in my final arrangement and then I'm ready to start adhering down those strawberries and I just really want to take my time here and make sure I get the everything really lined up so you don't see the base um, sticking out from behind our top uh, layer. I did make one more strawberry uh, off camera and I am now grabbing the leaves and just kind of putting my little flower and, and leaf arrangements kind of together. We'll put it to completely together on the card. I'm now moving on to the opulent layers frames and I just die cut it out of a white cardstock. Now I want to actually make this a frame so I'm going to use one of the smaller dies from that set to die cut the center out of my frame and this is just a perfect little lacy frame that works really well with the strawberries. I now have the best of everything stamp set. I'm going to pull off the hello my friend sentiment from the set and stamp it onto some black cardstock. I'm going to heat emboss it. So I am going to first apply some anti-static powder, then ink it up in clear embossing and watermark ink from Honeybee Stamps. Then I will dip it into some white embossing powder, so just creating that classic black and white sentiment. Now I will heat set my sentiment and then we'll be ready to die cut it out with the matching dies. Love that there's always die sets for the sentiments from Honeybee Stamps. Just grab the die, line it up, and then ran it through my die cutting machine. Now we have this perfect sentiment ready for our card. Now for my background, I'm going to use this awesome Gingham Happy Hearts um, paper pad. There's this really beautiful pink gingham um, sheet from there. I just trimmed it down to an A2 panel and now I'm going to adhere it onto the front of an A2 top folding white card base. 
After I stick that down, we'll be ready to kind of create our little focal point, which is the f including the frame and our uh, strawberry die cuts. So I'm kind of start to create my little cluster or my little arrangement here uh, at the lower left corner of the frame. Kind of tuck it in and, and nice the the stems kind of are covered nicely by the frame, which is really pretty. And for the extra strawberry and uh, flower, I'm just going to glue those onto one of the leaves and, and actually glue the, the flower over that strawberry. So we have those kind of loose die cuts kind of taken care of. And then I'm going to grab a piece of press and seal and stick it over my arrangement and that frame just to keep everything in its place, turn it over, and then I'm going to add foam adhesive. And I'm going to go to town, I'm going to add foam adhesive to everything, to the back of the frame, to the back of all the leaves and the strawberries, just to make sure we have some dimension and pop this focal point up. After I've added the foam adhesive, I'm, I'm now uh, removing the backing on it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of liquid glue to the to the foam adhesive. This is a really cool trick that I learned from my friend Tiffany. It allow, gives you a little bit of that uh, wiggle time uh, to get that alignment right, which can be trick, uh, tricky with something so straight like this frame. I had a little bit of a tricky time getting it nice and centered and straight, so that liquid glue really helped to give me that little bit of wiggle t t uh, room to get it nice and perfect. Now I went ahead and added some foam adhesive to the back side of my sentiment. I'm just going to now adhere it to the card front and then that will actually complete the card. And I'll hold up to the camera so you can get a good look at all the details in this card. Really love how these strawberries turned out. The ink blending on them is so pretty. It not only gives them a lot of dimension, but it also highlights the details or like kind of the score lines that the dye actually adds to the strawberries and the leaves. And it's just such a fun and happy card. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you have any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.